hello everyone welcome to my channel and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to this channel and um, comment and like and share this video with your friends and family so today we are going to talk about how to find PhD position in Germany or in all over Europe so this topic is particularly very, very close to my heart and as you all know that um, I, I am a PhD dropout so uh, I literally did a research on, on this topic and found my own way. So I wish that you also get success in, in, in very soon and in a very proper way. So after coming to Germany, almost every colleague of mine or every pre previous classmate, junior or senior had asked me the same question that how did I got a PhD position in Germany. So Basically what I did was, first I learned German through DSA or um, um, DSA 4 bar items course and then I passed this examination which is just like TOEFL for English and in the same way DSA is uh, um, for German language. So if you want to study in a college, um, DSA or Deutsche Schwachprüfung für Hochschulzugang is the must. So I did this course and after that I joined my PhD in Biochemistry Department. So now we will continue. I really wish that somebody has told me these things before. So I tell you that um, the PhD positions are of two types. Um, first one is a structured PhD program and second one is non-structured PhD program. The program that I joined was non-structured. So, I am going to convey a lot of details about this later in this video and um, you will get most of the information in that website, DAAD website. So basically you get information about um, structured PhD program in naturejobs.com or uh, in, in uh, from that website or um, other kind of uh, um, websites so other websites are research in germany dot de um, forschungsportal dot net and um, uh, www dot excellence dash initiative dot com www.wissenschaft-weltoffen.de and um, www.fact-about-germany.de So now we will talk about non-structured PhD programs that, and, and that was basically um, uh, my feat. So, yeah, it is the PhD in, uh, is done in traditional way and um, you can also say and this is a, a traditional doctorate program so here what happens that um, uh, professor uh, chooses uh, chooses the student and that uh, 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 and um, uh, if you want to get in structured PhD program sorry in non-structured PhD program what you have to do is um, you should uh, carefully read your uh, master thesis and uh, find out a professor and in whose research hey. you are genuinely interested. So, and then and you contact this professor and um, maybe you both uh, can talk about some research and, uh, proposal and um, if he or she likes you or um, um, if you both see each other as um, a teacher and a student then uh, this is going to work so the non-structured PhD program can also be either funded by a uh, uh, scholarship or um, either it can be funded by third party and uh, funding or uh, this can also be a collaboration between your professor and some industry or um, in, at this point I would like to mention that uh, you should also uh, contact some companies and for PLD positions if it is possible. So uh, sometimes some uh, companies also have PLD positions in life sciences or in pharmacy. 
so either you will get a work contract from your professor and um, all you have to find a scholarship and how i am going to tell you soon so before joining phd and you have to uh, and, um, and verify your certificates which is called anarcano and um, usually uh, for this there is a website in which you can check for example my institute naipur was there so there was no problem in anarcano now i would like to uh, tell you that whether german is uh, necessary or not so basically german is not necessary most of the time uh, your professor uh, he conducts the phd program in yeah. german and in english only but sometimes it's uh, possibility that um, somebody suggests you to learn german and if you want to get integrated here properly you should learn german so and then um and there are some courses that you should join so as i already talked about dsa and so what was the admission procedure in dsa was um, um i appeared in a university of nametals and then i got selected for middle school for of dsa four per atom schools so this is how it is done then you should also visit www.ishbaknagwise.de or .de so my english and german is completely mixed so whenever i say .de so it is .de uh, please note this point along with that you can also learn german from learn german learn dash german dot net you should also visit www.testdaf.de de so basically what is the uh, procedure to get into a phd is um, first you should get your degree second you should uh, finalize your supervisor third you should apply for doctoral program fourth then uh, your you have to recognize your degree or anarcano and then you will get an acceptance from your professor and then you can join and start your research work now i will talk to you about how to find a supervisor so one method and which is more successful is that if you are going to do non structured phd program you should look into the relevant articles and then contact the professor who and who is more into your research field or in your targeted research areas um along with that you can also visit www.daad.de um and hash um and w sorry www.daad.de and then you should further go into research dash explorer and um, you should also visit www.phdgermany.de um, and uh, try to network with these people but one thing you should keep in mind that um, um, when you search for non structured phd program and come into uh, professors who are not uh, so friendly about um, um, uh other phd students like uh, for uh, international students sometimes you uh, have to face racist or stereotyping kind of thing so be prepared for that and since you are not employed you cannot complain about this thing but most mostly professors are well educated and, and they don't get, and get into such stuff only uh, immature people do that now if you do doctor and doctorate as a research associate then research is just a part of your job what is your job exactly you have to uh, perform administrative duty you have to take part in teaching and uh, with that you have to do your research and um, it is a good thing because um, and uh, since you have a working contract with the university so after completion of your phd you can um, get arbeit losen geld from uh, the um, from the agentur for arbeit um, or you will get um, a bit of um, uh, uh, living expenses from the um, job agency of germany so uh, i would say that if you have uh, two options 
uh, one by doing um, research without a contract or with a stipend or other option is to work and after having work as a research associate and having work contract so i would advise that you should go for having work contract then there are some more program and website sorry so www.hire-education-compass.de and uh, www.academics.com and then and, and there you can find out some research associate jobs and um, another website is www.daad.de and um, then you should go in uh, international programs so basically when you get into an uh, uh, structured phd program basically what happens that you ca don't come in contact with uh, professor directly at first stage it is a multi stage uh, program and so uh, basically your professor does not choose you your university chooses you and then uh, it offers you some courses to get a proper fundamentals and about your uh, topic and um, do your research so in first stage you have to submit your cv uh, your copies of degree your project proposal and a motivation letter in the second uh, step if you are uh, shortlisted for this program then you have to uh, 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 submit a detailed project with com with comprehensive exposure and um, uh, which also include time schedule um, references and copies of certificates and, um, and your dissertation and sometimes it also requires proof of your uh, language proficiency so now comes the question that where can you can apply and um, i would say that there are many options this is why germany is called land of ideas so there are 140 universities and that provide doctorate degrees there are 200 dfg funded groups uh, there are 54 international research training groups there are 39 graduate schools and um, there are many many non-university research schools for example um, international max planck research schools or imprs um, and um, there are uh, some more important uh, most important providers of structured phd programs so if you talk about uh, german research foundation dfg so the, you should visit the website www.dfg.de um, and then go to gchem and uh, another excellent website for this is excellence initiative graduate schools so you should visit www.excellence-initiative.com um, you can also visit www.daad.de and, and, and then go to IPID. Along with that, you can uh, visit um, Max Planck Societies. So for that, you should visit www.mpg.de. Um, Helmholtz Institute also offer uh, good positions, research positions. So you should visit www.helmholtz.de and then you should go to Graduate and um, uh, Schulen uh, Colleagues, Dash Colleagues. Then you can also visit Frauenhofer Gesellschaft. So for that you should visit www.frauenhofer.com and um, then there is another important institute which is called uh, Leibniz. Um, uh, association so you should visit www.wgl.de so now comes uh, if you uh, make your own way and you make contact with professor and now you are searching for a scholarship or funding for your uh, research so what you have to do is um, in collaboration with the professor you have to write down a um, research proposal and send to different agencies this procedure takes time and so on, from six months to one year it can take so you should be very very um, careful and have a lot of patience if you are uh, getting this way so for getting a scholarship i would say 
यू शुड विजिट डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट फंडिंग गाइड डॉट डी ई और डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट स्टाइप एंड लोथसे डॉट डी ई एंड फॉर गिफ्टेड स्टूडेंट्स देयर इज़ अ स्पेशल वेबसाइट विच इज़ कॉल डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट स्टीपेंडियम प्लस डॉट डी ई सो एंड देन फॉर रिसर्च फंडिंग यू शुड गो टू डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट रिसर्च डैश इन डैश जर्मनी डॉट डी ई एंड देन यू शुड गो टू फंडिंग and uh, for funding and uh, further funding you can also uh, contact the agency uraxis so for that the website is www.uraxis.de so this is all from my side and i wish you all good luck about uh, you know, finding a phd position in germany and um, i would say that uh, you should decide uh, very carefully whether or not you can continue and complete this phd because um, success of uh, um, the phd student and success rate of the completion and success rate of the phd student who complete their phd is just 50% so it's very stressful uh, and um, german standards of working is um, very different in comparison to other international students so uh, you should uh, before taking this um, uh, decision um, you should be very very careful i would like to say mention another thing that um, when you are a doctoral student you have to work very hard and sometimes hours doesn't matter from the day and you get just half of the payment so um being a phd student it's not uh, so easy to survive in germany and if you are uh, um, going to join a, join a phd program in munich or in an expensive city like hamburg or in uh, in berlin um then uh, you should uh, um, manage your budget uh, very wisely otherwise um, your living costs will exceed your stipend uh, stipend so uh, that's all from my side and so uh, if you find this video very interesting um hit the like button and um share my channel and my videos with your friends and families if you have any question just write in the comments and uh, yeah best mm -hmm. of luck and have a bright career in germany bye bye